<laughs> I'm just starting to say it like it is, man. <laughs> I'm Mark Appleyard. I live in Huntington Beach, California, and I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. I always knew I wanted to go to California. Actually, when I was 15 years old, me and some friends who were 18 at the time, I was kind of always the younger one, but we took a trip to uh, San Francisco. I think it was like December or something. And, uh, and it was warm and it was great. And, uh, and I just, I was so amazed because, you know, back where I was living, it was freezing cold and you couldn't skate anything unless it was indoors. Like it, it was miserable through the winters. So that was a huge thing. And then I ended up going back home and finishing school over the next two years. And through that time, I was just like, I don't care what it takes, I'm gonna move to California because that's where the skateboarding is. I was young, I moved here and it's now like 11 years later and it's probably the best move I could have done, you know? Street skating, that's, that's, that's like the time when I came up when, you know, it was all just videos of people street skating. It was just street skating in cities or, you know, anywhere in the world really. But it seemed like that got harder to do over time because you get kicked out of places, police could get involved and stuff like that. So it, it can be difficult. Oh, okay. I mean, there's been a couple, but one that I can particularly remember a situation that sucked. We were filming in, uh, you know, it was uh, San Bernardino County, so some random town. And it was night and we, uh, we had to hop the fence, you know, we, we had a generator with lights and we hopped the fence and we lit up this set of stairs, we were skating it. And then these cops came and just, they ended up just sitting us down for a long time and getting all the information and saying they wanted, to, they, were, they were gonna talk to the school to see if they were gonna press charges because we were skating a school. And ended up pressing charges on us and we had to go to court. It was super harsh. Here I am having to find a lawyer to get me out of the situation with the with the court, I ended up having to pay like $4,000. But uh, it's, it's still, you know, the major part of skateboarding. People are still street skating. You just have to take it, you just have to find where you can do it nowadays. And I think they're always gonna street skate. It's kind of like just raw skating. And then you have like park skating, which is cool too and super fun. And a lot of street skaters like to go to parks and skate. And you have contests and things like that. So I think it all kind of spawned from street skating, all the parks and stuff have like obstacles that replicate like street spots, things that you'd find out there in, in the world, which is called like street skating.